Hello guys, welcome back to Kazooie Gaming and to a very special episode. Which okay, so near me where I live, I'm not going to give you my exact location, but there is a big reservoir called Ardley Reservoir. Part of Ardley I come from, we call it Tingley Res. It has different names, but it's there. I'm going to a satellite view. So, it's a rather large reservoir, man-made. It's popular in there. You're not supposed to swim in or fish in it, but over summer months it's very popular to do so. But, it's a couple of... It's over a mile round if you want to go for a walk or a cycle, but yeah, we have ours the reservoir. Me and a bunch of friends, because this is like a giant levee, and there's the control pipes, whatever you want to call them here, that do all the main machinery work, I'm guessing, inside the thing. To us, they just look like pepper pots, so we call it the pepper pot. But a few of us once swam from here, where you can see I'm like labelling, straight across, because that's the exit gate there. And we used to exit up here to go home, everyone, but yeah. A couple of us once swam over it back in a uh, good 15 plus years ago, back when I was young and dumb. But yeah, but I was doing a bit of history on it, and turns out back in World War Two, I looked, I looked on the issue website, back in during World War Two, the trees were cut down in the local area and placed on the reservoir to float to stop seaplanes landing. Now this got me thinking, is it possible to land a seaplane? On, the, on this local reservoir. If we're going to land a plane on here, I'm assuming we're going to have to come into this section here, which this area we call Pike Corner. You won't know the difference unless you run around here, but this is where a lot of pike fishing happens, but there's some nice pike in here if you're into fishing, but if you get caught, you're going to lose your rod. Pull it in here and come straight across the long, little, longest fucking section at reservoir. There's trees surrounding it, so that can make it a bit more awkward to land, but not... And somebody does live here in like a little house on the corner, which is a. So before we try, we're gonna have a we've got a street view of the corner. That's the reservoir. There's the pepper about That's the overflow when it gets too full. This is this hill. Everyone slides down at winter when there's snow. Somebody lives here. Nice little house to have. Yep, just out buildings. Some more woods, woodland area. It is a lovely place to come for a walk if through summer months when it's warm. It's a beautiful day down here. We used to spend the summers down here all the time. There is a parking spot. If you ever do come, fancy drive, they do have a car park further up. They have a car park you can stay in. If you're looking for it, just look for Hagemore Road in East Ardsley, well, in Ardsley. East Ardsley is the other side of the reservoir where I, where I currently preside. So, yeah, we'll jump into Microsoft Flight Simulator, and uh, they have a seaplane on there, and we will try and land a seaplane on Tingley Reservoir, or Ardsley Reservoir. So, here we are in Flight Simulator 2020. We will be using, well, to start off, we've got the flight stick. It's only a cheap one. Speedlink Black Widow XE, great little fly stick, I use it in VR, it's fun just to fly about in, I don't need anything, I'm not a major fly sim enthusiast, so it's just good enough to what I need it to do, I use it for War Thunder through a long time. We will be using the Icon A5 aeroplane, cruise speed of 85, whatever KTA stands for, but it's just a, a small little aircraft, light aircraft, it, uh, you can land it on runways, or whatever you really want, or you can put the wheels away, and it's a seaplane. And we will be taking our departure airport, will be Leeds and Bradford Airport. It's a very beautiful game. We will be taking off from Leeds and Bradford Airport. And bring up the map. We will be heading southwards down to here. This is the reservoir here. You can, it's good that you can spot it on a map from a decent, dis, decent amount away. Decent distance away. I do apologise about my speech. You're going to have some medical conditions. I have... Uh, Recently been diagnosed with MS. Having some cognitive issues. Coordination is just so. Uh, my left hand starts misbehaving. Don't worry about it. It's just not me being shit. I just uh, can't control it properly. So remove the parking brake. And uh, it's a very intuitive game. I'm not uh, an amazing pilot. I have all the assists on to make my life easier. But after we finish the first initial flight and landing. We will do a bonus of a, I'll try and land in VR as a little bonus for the ending. It's not essential to the video. Alright, so we're going to turn immediately because 
we're not happy about real life airlines crashing into us. Climb angle too low apparently, we're going to kill us all. Even on board the plane is very, uh, very well detailed, very beautiful looking game. The detail is phenomenal, but the 3D rendered objects are just based on what's their whatever map software they're using, but it's not identical representation of what's actually there. If there'll be a house there or a building, but it's just a generic 3D model they're using. But from this, I hope it, it really don't matter, and it's good enough to use from a low point just to. Good enough to get a feeling of what the area is like. But absolutely beautiful. Okay, so if you're from the area, we will be approaching Ellen Road Stadium on the left over there. We have Ellen Road Stadium over there. If you're a Leeds United fan, we have uh, Cottonley Towers down to below us, but look a little different in real life as well as the industrial area and the White Road Shopping Centre approaching but as you can tell the detail is enough to tell exactly where you are and what you're looking at even if the three models are a little bit incorrect there's the football stadium but as you can see Tingler Reservoir is just there on the horizon not far from White Road Shopping Centre it's quite local if you're even if you're in Beeston or Mall if you fancy a trip out so we have arrived at our destination Tingley Reservoir, so we'll have a little fly around it first, we're going to approach it from that corner we said before, Pike Corner, but yes, yeah, it's a very good representation of the via, the reservoir, very, I feel like going for a swim right now, alright, let's go around and we'll try and land it and see if it is possible, we're going to fly this way, loop around and come and try and land, give it a go, See how good I am. And see if those Germans really could have landed seaplanes during World War II. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna guess if they did it'd have been for reconnaissance, not for anything invasion wise because they couldn't have landed enough planes to make a difference. I'm gonna start reducing his airspeed, which I have no idea what I'm doing, and we are gonna try and swing around. Here we go. All right, making our final approach. I sound like a professional now. I think we're still a bit fast. Oh, this is tense. How is trying VR? All right, so front. Oh, 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 we're down. We're down. Oh, so smooth. Start turning because. I'm guessing in real life with a broker's plane by now. But yeah, I'm guessing it is very plausible. They could have landed plane. I don't know if this is a modern plane, so this might have landed better. But yeah, that, that was actually went a lot smoother than I thought. Shorter video. Don't have to do mobile tries, but we are down on Tingler Reservoir. It is more than possible. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to see if we can take back off again. Have we got enough space? Find out, we'll see if we can take off again. Yeah, I think the Germans could have done it if they didn't put, if they tried it. As long as we didn't put fucking trees on top of the reservoir to stop them, yep. And we're off again. God knows what kind of reconnaissance they've done here. We're back. We have the VR red zone. Can't really see, but yeah, we have the rift on, and we are going to try this again and see if I can land it in VR. Rainbow so, here. for me, it's just you don't get the uh, the 3D all the effects you get when you're in VR. You don't get it when you're watching on the screen, but let's reduce air speed drastically. Oh. Feels completely different coming in VR when the it's this difference in scale, like everything feels. Oh. 
Have we landed yet? Have we even touched down yet? We are down. Try and turn the plane so we don't. Don't want to hit land because if we hit land, I won't be able to take back off again. Turn it. I can't believe we've pulled it off. We have landed on Tingle Reservoir in VR. Not quite real, but real enough to make it plausible. The Germans could have done it if they had a decent enough plane. Right, let's go for it. Up, up, and away. I'd say that mission was a success. Why would we stop engines? We're in flight plane. You can use the mouse to click all the landing gear up and down. Which. I need more practice at all that. Icon, Sierra, yeah, I'll do a little flyover. I'm not going to point out my house, but we'll go have a little flyover around there. If you know me, you'll know exactly where we are. Absolutely. So you got on the right there that looks like an industrial building is actually a school. So you can tell it's just a guesstimation of what they can do with it. But this is my this is my area. I live around here. All this down here is a new build area that's built on the old uh, East Isle Railway. I'll link a video to a chap from the area that does videos regarding Leeds to then the lost East Isle Railway, did the lost Morley Railway. Great video to watch if you're into that sort of stuff, but I'll definitely link it below. It's definitely worth a watch. Okay, so the question asked today was, can you land a plane on Tingler Reservoir? And I think we've answered that conclusively. Yes, you can, as long as you're a good enough pilot. The Germans could have done it if they didn't put the trees down. I guess that's why they did it. But yeah, mission accomplished. We have proved that you can land a plane on Tingler Reservoir. Alright, thanks for watching. Please click the like and subscribe button. I hope to see you on more content. There'll be more content coming soon. If you want to see more Fly Simulator, let me know. There'll be more driving videos, hot, large life hot laps. I'm going to start doing some Monaco hot laps as well. Just mix it in there. But yeah, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you on the next video.